Hey guys, you ready back again with another video and today we're going to be doing an unboxing review of the 1x1 Magic Plasma Bluetooth speaker. So this product comes in either red or black straight out of the box and it also comes with a micro USB and auxiliary cord and the direction. So pretty simple setup we got going on. Now the device itself has the capability of uh, Bluetooth being uh, connected via auxiliary cord or having a micro SD card put in the back. This device also does not have a built-in battery so it would be uh, better for it to sit on a desk connected to either a laptop or desktop. So what we're going to do is plug it in, get a couple beeps, and then you pair the phone to the HZ957 on your uh, phone. After that, you can start playing the music directly off of it. Now on the back of the speaker, you can see there's a uh, there's a multi-point switch where you can either have um, the plasma ball be synced to the music, where it plays on uh, higher volumes during the song, or you can switch it to always on, like it is right here, where um, the plasma ball will just be a constant on. I then switch it back so it goes towards the beat of the music. But as you can see right here, it's a little on the quiet side, so by turning up the volume on my phone, the uh, plasma ball comes right to life. So here's what I mean. Um, flipping the switch back one, just to the music. And then switching it to always on. So on the front of the device, you can see there's four buttons. We have a mode button. Uh, which you can switch between the uh, Bluetooth, the auxiliary cord, and the uh, micro SD card. Then you have the pause and play button. Next to that, you have the skip backwards and volume down. So what you do is you'd hit the button once to skip backwards, or hold the hold it to uh, get the volume to go down. Similarly to the right of that, we have the skip forward and volume up. Um, hold it down for volume up and push it once to skip the song. Now I was having some issues with the auxiliary cord. Um, I plugged it in the back, it gave me the beep uh, acknowledging that it was connected, but for some reason um, plugging it into multiple computers, multiple devices, um, I couldn't get anything to actually come out of the speaker through the auxiliary cable. So I'm not sure if, if internally it was bad or if the auxiliary cord itself was defective. Um, then, just by plugging in the SD card, uh, it will then beep a couple times and then uh, play the music directly off of that. So I only put one song on for this review, uh, just to get the concept going, but if you had multiple songs, it would just be like using the uh, skip forward and skip back to change the songs. But anyway guys, that's gonna be my review and uh, quick unboxing of this. Uh, speaker was incredibly loud, um, incredibly good quality, and the plasma ball adds to the effect via it sitting on your desk or in an office or something like that. Um, other than that, I think it was kind of smart to have no battery built into it. Um, that way it's going to be sitting on your desk plugged into your computers, so you wouldn't really need that. But um, they, I think that one by one should maybe make it a second version with a battery for people that actually want to take it uh, portably around to like events and all that stuff. But anyway, guys, that's going to be it for my review. Uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace out.